Uh, greetings and welcome to an episode of Reverend G's Words of Encouragement. I got a quick word for you and then I'll be out of your way. So let's get to it. So I have a particular topic that I've uh, maybe stumbled upon and people ask me and I want to throw the topic out to you today. And, uh, you know, it might be uh, apropos if we were pretty much in face to face. I'm not sure if it's applied doing virtual, but I'm going to assume that it does. And so that is, uh, how do you, uh, first of all, how do you know when it's time to leave uh, your church and go to another church? And then what does that look like? So it's kind of like twofold. Uh, when do you decide, okay, I'm, I'm tired, I'm done, I'm walking out, right? How do, you, how do you come to that conclusion? And then once you have come to that conclusion, how do you implement or what are some jet suggestions on how to get that done? And so let me give you just my little experience uh, in life and how I've heard that handled and how pretty much how I handled it. So maybe it might help you. I think the first thing that you want to do as you address the first part of this question is uh, how do you know when it's time to leave is really what the question is. And uh, that's going to be on a case by case basis. But maybe something has transpired there that you don't agree with. Uh, maybe uh, they are treating you in a fashion that you don't think is right. Uh, or maybe uh, they're going in a direction that, hey, you know, scripturally, or, you know, you don't think it's the right way to go. Whatever the case may be, or, or maybe I mean, <laughs> or maybe you did something uh, that is in violation and it's time for you to go. So, uh, so there could be the, the, there could be a lot of reasons why one uh, de decides to leave, and I'm not saying leave the faith. I'm only saying leave the church. Now, let's be clear. And so, what, so what you so there could be a multiple reasons, but I just want to use the idea or the concept that maybe uh, maybe you just feel like, hey, you're not being fed. They're they're not giving you the uh, you know the the attention and time and energy you want to grow, or maybe there's just no programs there for you, you as an individual. Maybe you're single and they don't have a singles ministry, or you know the kids uh, don't have programs for the kids, and you're like, I got to go do something different. And so now that you've made and come to that conclusion that it's time to go, now it's time to implement that decision. So how do you go about doing that? So let me give you a take on this, uh, my take first. Well, you know, I think that kind of depends on maybe how they're treating you uh, as you, you know, come to that decision. Uh, for example, uh, if they ain't treating you right, then I say pop, smoke and leave. <laughs> That's just Jeff. So uh, it's kind of like my jobs, you know, hey, if they're treating me right, hey, I, hey, I give them the official notification. Hey, I'm walking out, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, if I've encountered some problems and whether they're just not treating me right, I, I, I might tell them on Friday, I'm out, I'm, I'm out of there on Monday or vice versa. Uh, but, you know, let's go with the idea that maybe they're, you know, it's just time to move and there's like no uh, animosity uh, between you and the leadership. What I would simply recommend doing is setting up a meeting or a call with the pastor of that particular church and letting that individual know that you're going to be moving on. I mean, that's the way I would do it uh, because uh, and maybe it's time uh, to give some feedback, you know, to, as to the reason you're leaving uh, because and maybe that will drive change uh, because I think it's important to do that. So I would I would I would try. I would hope that you would have an honest conversation with the individuals if it's one of these situations where you're leaving under, you know, just amicable uh, circumstances. Uh, so try to have a discussion because maybe through that conversation, you might recognize uh, maybe you missed something or, you know, maybe there is something still there for you to remain. Uh, but that can only be determined whether or not when you have that conversation and, you know, don't drag out the process, you know, try to get on the calendar quick as possible, I say, because if you're not growing, and you're not happy. The last thing, you know, you want to do is remain there waiting for, you know, a meeting that may take, you know, uh, you know more time than you really need. And so try to make that happen because then you kind of can leave there. And then, you know, when you go to the next place and especially if you're some, in some type of leadership role, you can uh, say, hey, you know, uh, I talked to my pastor and, you know, I informed him that I was leaving him or her that I was leaving. And uh, and here's why. And I'd like to be able to join here and maybe do some functions as well. And they may call, you know, just kind of, you know, see what things are. And then you, you, you kind of have that covered. But once again, I say that's an amicable, but hey, you know, if they're not treating you right, disrespecting you and so forth and so forth, hey, uh, swing the door wide open and don't look back uh, because 
Uh, I think it's important that you as a believer is in a place where uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, taught the word. Uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, taken care of. And, you know, if you're like me, you're going to be giving some finances to the church and you want to make sure that things are being done responsibly. And, and, and one way to do that is to have transparency at that particular organization. So if you're not getting all of that and you want that, then you got to find a place that's going to give you that transparency and that uh, place is going to uh, feed you what the, the word of God says. All right. So I kind of went on a little bit, but I wanted to at least share this video with you as you might be on the path of maybe uh, getting ready to switch to a different church or a new church. And you wanted to know how do you go about doing that? Uh, so for a short summarization, a hey, first, you know, come to a, if you come to a conclusion as to why you want to leave and you think it's a valid reason and you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, resolve that there, then yeah, it's time to go. Then how do you implement that? You know, uh, ideally, if it's a uh, amicable situation, try to have a conversation, what I call an exit survey, you know, because maybe by you giving some earnest, direct, transparent feedback, maybe they will fix that need and someone else like yourself won't have to go through that. And then uh, that will give an opportunity. But if it's not, then, you know, you want to go somewhere where you can be, uh, you know, feel like you belong and you can feel like people care and you're just not a, you know, a, a, a number for them to uh, try to get your financial resources. So, hey, okay. All right. I'd love to see your comments down below. So if you've got some additional thoughts on points, certainly feel free to share them. Like this is an absolute, this is just me talking off the cuff and trying to give you some uh, ideas and tips on maybe how to address this particular issue if you are facing or someone else is facing. Have a wonderful day. I hope to see you at my next episode. I'm out. Mm -hmm.